Hey guys, how you doing? Thank you for stopping by my channel. But today, I wanted to talk with you guys real briefly about gardening. Um, I'm kind of new to gardening. I'm not saying that I am a pro at it, but because of the times that we're living in, because of what's going on right now with COVID and everything, I just kind of wanted to go over some things about sustainable living. And my intention was to do this a long time ago, especially when I was vegan for that short period of time. I, I was vegan for like a year. This is also about taking care of yourself, especially if there's a shortage on food. You will find more fruits and vegetables and produce that is on the shelf. I noticed that a lot of canned goods, and, and of course that's that makes sense, you know, um, getting canned goods, especially during a state of emergency. You want to make sure that your body is eating from the earth so that way you can stay healthy. And what's most important about growing your own food is not only is it cost effective, but you're, you're also taking care of the environment because, you know, when you go to grocery stores, you're using bags and things like that. You're also using gas. You can basically grow your own food out in the backyard and save money. So I'm going to show you guys real quickly some of the things that I've been doing um, over the past couple weeks. Weeks, I have been growing my own food and what I will show you guys is I have tomatoes, cantaloupe, pole beans, carrots, I'm regrowing Brussels sprouts and I have a few other things in the back so I'm going to show you guys what I'm gardening and how I'm doing that and then I'm going to come back to you guys just to give you guys an update and also to share with you some information on how you can start and how you can get your garden growing during times like these. Okay, so right now I'm on the back patio. I do not have a garden bed right now. I haven't built any garden beds at the moment, but I am going to build some of those very, very soon. But what I've done was I put some of the produce and some of the garden stuff out on a table. And because I don't have a lot of tables, I put some of the pots and stuff on the ground. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've done so far and you just uh, stay tuned. Now, these are Roma tomatoes. Okay, I started growing these on March the 24th of this year, 2020. And these are growing pretty well. Uh, this is a pot that I have, and I used um, organic soil to, to plant these in. Now I am gonna to have to take these out and put a, uh, I forgot what you call them, but it's like, it's like a little fence thing. You put around it, around the vines and stuff like that to keep them from growing wild. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. These are large cherry tomatoes. I planted these on the first, it was like a little over a week ago. Um, these are large cherry tomatoes and so these are growing pretty decent okay now these are growing the same day but for some reason um, they're not growing as fast as these are and I think the reason why is because last weekend it rained I had them outside getting some Sun and unfortunately it drowned out the plant now this is another one this is another Roma tomato. Now these are starting to grow. You can see one here. You can see like a little seed, okay? Um, I do not see any other sprouts at the moment, but I think what happened, unfortunately, like I said, some of the seeds might have drowned out and maybe uh, deteriorated underneath the soil, or maybe when I was pouring the water out, maybe some of the seeds floated to the top and they came out, I'm not really sure. So what I'll do is I will wait another maybe a week to see how they grow. And then I'll just try to plant some more on top of that or just leave it the way it is until they until I see them grow out. Um, I'll figure it out. <laughs> now down here, I know it looks like a mess, but it is not. And what I do is I use, I reuse produce, okay? Now what you see in here are banana peels. And what I normally do is put water inside. I have a, another jar on the inside of my house in the kitchen um, that, I have, that I have water in. And what I do is after a couple days or so, I use the water that had kind of like been germinating from the produce and I poured on the plants that I'm growing, like the uh, fruits and vegetables. It's like a natural fertilizer, okay? You don't have to use miracle Grow, which is not good for your plants anyway. You don't have to use any of those things. Um, I just use, like it's, it's almost like a compost, like compost water. And I save the peels, um, the hose, all that kind of stuff from fruits and vegetables and I replant them as a compost. And these are what I'm gonna use for other flowers and produce and things like that. I also save coffee grounds. Um, I use coffee grounds for plants, like for instance, like fruits and vegetables that are acidic, like tomatoes. You can actually put that in there as well and it helps them grow. Of course, an avocado. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just using all this to regrow. So instead of throwing things out, you can actually use it to make your own garden, okay? But like I said before, I'm going to get a couple of tables and I'm going to make a garden bed out back. 
Uh, but it does rain quite a bit here in Florida. I'm in Orlando, so you know, that's how it is. Well, these are carrots called Danvers, like long Danvers. I planted these about two weeks ago, I think. Carrots to me seem like they'll grow the longest. I didn't put the date on here. Okay, um, I got, now these carrots are planted on the 24th of March of this year, 2020. For some reason, they're taking forever to grow. I did not put that much soil in it like I should have. Um, you're always supposed to put, at least, I probably should have put the soil up to here. Carrots have long roots and you need, and they need those roots to grow. But I didn't do that because I'm still new to gardening, but they seem to be doing okay, I guess. These are another Danvers. They're growing a little bit. You can see one right here, a little bud here. Um, another here, here, and right here. And then some other ones are gonna sprout out. You can see like some slime here from a slug. I know slugs are pests, but I killed it with some salt. <laughs> um, now these were growing pretty fast. These are radishes, okay? These I started growing around the 24th, 25th, but they're starting to bolt. Like they're starting to wilt. And I think I might be watering them too much or they might be getting too much sun because really radishes, you don't grow out in the sun too much because then they'll bolt. Um, it's good for them to get some sun, but they're really like better to grow in the cool weather. And I'm in Florida, so it's hot here. These, you guys won't believe. Today is the 9th of April and these are pole beans. These are garden beans, heirloom poles. I grew these, um, I planted these on the 1st of April. Now look at them, and it's the ninth. I did not know that beans grow so fast and so big. Now I've heard of Jack and the Beans talk, <laughs> but I had no idea that beans grow this big, y'all. Now these have grown faster than anything else that I've planted. I'm hoping that my radishes are gonna be okay. They have about like, maybe like another three weeks to harvest, but I'm not sure because they're bolting, so I don't know. Um, yeah. And this right here is just a flower. Um, I'm going to plant more of these. Uh, this, these are zinnias. These are going to just be flowers that I'm going to plant around the, the backyard and the front. Now these are cantaloupes. I planted these on the 1st of April of this month and I don't see anything yet. Um, I hope I didn't plant them too deep because I think with cantaloupes you only plant them maybe like a half an inch to an inch deep. Um, yeah, those, I don't know. Now you guys can also you guys can also regrow Brussels sprouts. I planted these, I think, on the 1st of April, I think. And you can already see some of the buds. I don't know if this will zoom in. See that? You're really supposed to grow these like aquaponics or whatever you call it, aquaponics, whatever you call it. You can regrow this in water. But one, well, as you can see, like the little buds, see how they're growing out? They're gonna grow really tall like stalks, almost like the poles that you see over there. Now this one, I think, had rotted. This one had rotted, I think. But some of them are growing out. They don't always necessarily look so messed up, but I'm still new to gardening, so. But when you start to see like these little buds, that's a good thing. That means that they're growing the right way. But it's best just to grow those in water. This is my little garden here. <laughs> um, yeah. So once again, I have these, and once they get to a certain length, or a certain height, rather, I'm gonna put, put them in a garden bed, but the trellis, I think it's called a trellis, it's something. It's just like, it's like a little wire thing you put around um, tall plants and stuff to keep them from getting all over the place. So, and I water them with regular water, and or I use my own compost water, which is like a natural fertilizer, but you have to know what plants to get certain types of nutrients because you don't want to put too much in there because it'll rot the plants out. So here in the kitchen, um, <laughs> never mind my coffee creamer, but this is some more compost water. These are just banana peels. You can put um, apple cores in here. You can put all kinds of stuff if you want. Um, but I used a jar that I had gotten from Whole Foods with some pasta sauce and of course I cleaned it out. I just put some water in here and these are banana peels and I let them sit for a couple days. And when it's time for me to water my other plants, that's what I do. And when it's time for me to get rid of the peels or the cores of any of the uh, produce, then what I do is I just uh, save those as a compost and I bury them with other 
plants or vegetables. So if I'm going to plant something that's okay with, you know, putting other compost out there, that's what I do. All right, everybody. So I had just shown you my little small garden and I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I know once again that a lot of people are kind of grabbing food and they're kind of panicking and things like that. But it just surprised me at how much produce is on the shelf. Um, and that's really what your body needs because you know your body's like a compost and you break it down, you know, and you, and you want to make sure that you have foods that you can break down. Um, it's okay to, to get whatever you need. That's a necessity, especially if you have children or older parents or wh whatever the case is. But always make sure that you take care of your body because if you stuff your body full of that stuff, that's not good for you, then you're going to start to break down and it's going to affect your immune system. Um, once again, you guys can get seeds almost anywhere. And what I did was I had gotten seeds from Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree has non-GMO seeds. And it's best to get seeds like that. I prefer to get seeds that are organic, of course, non-GMO, but I also want to make sure that the seeds aren't like hybrid to where once they grow, they don't have seeds in them. For instance, if I grow a watermelon or a cantaloupe or grapes or even tomatoes, I want seeds in them, you know, like so I can regrow them. But you know, that's how they manipulate some of the produce. So you can't do that. But yeah, but there are a lot of Dollar Trees that don't have the seeds anymore because people are starting to grow their own. And to me, I feel like what's going on right now is kind of like a wake up call to what we should have been doing anyway. And that's something that I've always been interested in is growing my own food. And so I'm still learning about gardening. I, I know I'm probably made some mistakes along the way. But, you know, it's a process and I'm going to grow and I'm going to get better at it. But this is just this is just the beginning. And I'm going to do more videos to show you guys more about sustainable living. And it's wonderful. Just reuse stuff. Like even this headband, you know, I just use it from an old skirt. You know, I mean, you can make your own stuff. You can make your own masks. You can make stuff that you already have in your house. I and mean, you can even make a mask from your air filter um, or even from a filter from your um vacuum bags that you haven't used you know of course make sure nothing is used but it might not be the actual uh you know n95 quite material but still is something same time guys just stay safe you know be careful uh i see some people losing weight i have family members that are losing weight getting healthy and i feel like i'm getting bigger i know you see it in my cheeks <laughs> you know all this ice cream um well vegan ice cream rather but uh but yeah guys start that's how you grow your garden and if you have any fruits that you eat like um oranges you can save the peels and use those as well to to plant before you uh, put your seeds in there i mean just save your stuff and replant it you know regrow it but i'm going to keep you guys updated on how my garden is growing this is fantastic for me i know that some of you guys probably have been interested in doing this i have gotten feedback that people are interested in how to grow their own food but yeah you can go to so there's tons of information out there on youtube and on the internet where you guys can research on how to start your own little garden and yeah i think this is a great thing to do it's a great start and you know grow your own food be sustainable and start getting your body trained to eat more fruits and vegetables to live off of it because later on down the road things are going to change and i want to talk i don't want to talk too much about that on this video but especially with the livestock is going to be greatly affected. So start training your body now on eating whole foods, you know, which is really good for you anyway. So I will have more to come. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and share. God bless you. Bye.